Gamers, do your base designs constantly look like this, this, or possibly even this? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you a wide assortment of base designs from starter bases, unique bases, and giant bases, so that you never have to build a weird and ugly base ever again. Jesus Christ, I think I said base like 30 times, what the hell? And, uh, yeah, so, let's get started. First up, we're taking a look at this massive island with a giant modern base on top of it. So, for the main actual island part, as you can see, we of course have a beach that surrounds the entire area. We have a whole bunch of, like, rocky areas areas too and a bunch of palm trees around the place. Then we have this nice pathway that leads up all the way to the main entrance of our base here. Well, I mean, it's the only entrance of the base. Heading on through the inside. Firstly, on the first floor, we have our storage area, our crafting area, and our furnace slash smelting area as well. Then to the right of this, we have our staircase up to the second floor. We also have this nice little indoor garden design. Then to the right of this, we have our brewing area. And then finally, in this nice windowed section, we have our enchanting area and then just a couple of like random little island things things to take up a bunch of room. Just because without adding in these little designs around the place, it is very open and empty and boring looking. So now heading up the stairs to the second floor. Up here, as you can see, we have once again two of these island things to take up space. We have this really nice like painting wall design thing that looks really modern and cool. We also have this little design over here as well, which looks once again modern and cool. And then finally up here, we of course have our bedroom with a nice big gradient kind of rug around it. And we have this nice leaf design with some lanterns behind that as well. Then out here we have a nice balcony with a nice table and chair and then all the way up at the top roof here we have some solar panels. Just kind of looks nice from far away. There's a bunch of modern houses that just have like a whole bunch of solar panels on top so I thought it could uh, fit in nicely. Mainly, you know, I just couldn't think of what to add on the roof pretty much. Next up we have quite the ginormous build. As you can see for this one we created an absolutely massive landscape around this one and I must give pretty much full credit to Extra Builds for creating this base because um, yeah I spent pretty much all of my time on this build just building all of this freaking snow here. It's like a really nice like sloped kind of gradient thing. And yeah, this base was actually created like a couple of years ago at this point and it was obviously around Christmas time. As you can see, we've got some Christmas trees around here as well. And yeah, so for this one, we just made like pretty much a ginormous lodge here. We have a nice little balcony here with a frozen river that trickles out from this. A very nice detail that I love. Heading on inside here, as you can see, we have like a bar or like wine cellar style kind of thing. I'm not really sure how else to describe this. Over here, we have a nice little fireplace. And then for the second portion of the uh, house, I'm not sure if we actually ended up putting stuff in here. Yeah, I think we kind of gave up. So we um, put the same fireplace in here and a Christmas tree, and that's about it. Next up, we have another very unique style of base. And as you can see, this one is laid out in a giant kind of campsite. So this build was created pretty recently by myself and Extra Builds, and it was mainly laid out just to look cool. So it's not really in like a base format at the moment. So we just kind of have like individual little bases in all of these tents. But you could easily like kind of separate all of the tents and add in say like smelting to this tent you could have crafting in this one enchanting in like another big one or something like that so it's mainly just the idea behind this build it's definitely a very different and unique style of base that i would definitely love to do in a hardcore series or something in the future maybe I don't know. Next up, we have the base design from my first hardcore series. And as you can see, this one is pretty much just entirely surrounded by crops. And we have this nice like rectangular, like L-shaped style base. So heading through the front gate, as you can see, we have a nice little pathway here that leads up to the doors on each side. And we can head on inside. And as you can see, I never actually really completed this base. This whole left side is just pretty much empty. I couldn't really figure out what to add here. But as for the main area of the base here, we have our smelting wall, which packs in 12 furnaces. And we also have a little bit of barrel storage beside those as well. To the right of this, we have our crafting area and also our main storage area. Man, I kind of miss this world, you know? Why would I have to go and die? God damn it. And heading upstairs, uh, once again, I never really finished up here. We did have my bed up here, which I never used because uh, it was just a chore coming up all the way up here just to sleep. But yeah, if you want to watch me build this, be sure to check out the uh, episode in my first hardcore series where I built it. And also just check out the whole hardcore series, you know? Why not? Just... Just do it for me, okay? Next up, we have our first starter base. And as you can see, this one is an underwater ocean starter base. So this one is very easy to build, but also looks very cool at the same time. We have a giant window here that lets us obviously look into the base. And um, we can use this trap door here to head down the ladder to the inside of the actual base. And so from the inside, we have a very nice view out here from our window into like a nice lush kelp forest out here. And on the inside, obviously it is a starter base. So we do not have much room for stuff, but it is of course easily expandable. You 
can just push these walls out as much as you want to go. But for this base, we have a bit of a storage wall here. At the back here, we have like this crazy design with some crafting blocks and our smelting blocks and some extra barrels around this as well. And then off to the right behind the ladder here, we have our bedroom. And next up, we have the base in my current hardcore series. So yeah, please forgive me for not being able to fly around in creative mode for this one. But yeah, so on the exterior here, we have a very nice circular shaped kind of perimeter. And we've also divided all of these areas as well. So we can add in a whole bunch of crops to this. And so heading on through the front door, on the left side here, we have our massive smelting wall. At the back area, we have a nice little crafting section. And then off to the right, we have our massive storage area. And then our bedroom off to the right of that as well. Heading up the ladder, up to the top floor, we have our enchanting area. We have a little bit of offhand storage, which I haven't had to use yet, but in here I'll probably be adding like dirt and stuff. And then all the way at the back here, we have this guy, which uh, gives me my mending books. That's pretty much the only reason why he's here. And now heading down the ladder instead, this time we're in the basement where we have my ginormous automatic melon farm. So as you can see, we actually have four separated melon farms here, two on the left and then two on the right. I won't really explain how this works because this is more of like a base design video. But if you want to watch me build this, feel free to check out the hardcore series video where I build it. And then down here, we also have some uh, extra villages as well so that I can trade all of the melons to them too. Next up, we have a pirate cove base, another very interesting and unique style of base. So as you can see, we've just hollowed out this massive like cliff here. And inside we added like a nice little staircase up from the water here and then a big balcony that kind of surrounds the whole interior area, which leads to all of our separate little areas. So starting off over here on the far right side, we have our enchanting area. Then to the left of this, we have our big indoor crop farm. Then we can take this staircase here up to our storage area. Below this, we have our main smelting area with, I mean, I, I know it's not that many furnaces. Um, You could expand this easily if you wanted to. I guess this can be classified more as like a starter base or like a, you know, like a purely aesthetic kind of base. Then off to the left here, we have our little sleeping area. And then we also have our main crafting and brewing area over here as well. Next up, we have my most recent ultimate survival base. And uh, this one does have a full tutorial video on my channel as well. So be sure to check that out if you wanted to build this. So as you can see, we have a nice circular kind of fortress style base or like a castle style base where we have these watchtowers in all the corners and then we have these like shorter but bigger ones in all of the sides as well and then we have our main base in the center here and um yeah so let's just head on inside and i'll show you what all of these uh contain so firstly on the actual inside of the base here we have these nice separated crop fields so you have like just a whole bunch of crops that you can farm nice and easily and safely from inside your base and then also at the like back middle left area we have our uh, animal farms as well so all of these little watchtowers pretty much just have a ladder that go up to the top so nothing too interesting but these bigger ones do have some interesting things inside of them like this first one here we have a big storage area then for the backmost one we have a toggleable nether portal and then for our rightmost little uh, extra exterior base thing we have our mine entrance so as you can see theoretically this one would go like I don't know as far down as you want to go and now for the actual main base let's head on through the first floor and the left side here we have our crafting and smelting blocks and then on the other side we have another little smelting area here and then to the right of this we have our main storage wall next heading up the ladder up to the second floor we of course have our bedroom up here with a nice little leaf design that I love using in all of my builds pretty much. Then behind this we have our smelting area and also our brewing area and we have a door here that leads up to a nice little balcony. Next up we have a base that is fully contained inside of this pirate ship design and it also does have a full tutorial video on my channel so be sure to check that out if you wanted to build this. So firstly on the deck of the ship we don't really have too much in terms of like a base area. Out here is pretty much mainly just aesthetics but most of the base pretty much goes on inside of this door here and down the ladder of course. So on this first floor here we have our beds where up to two players can live and they also have their own little private storage chests as well and heading down the ladder is where the main base is. As you can see the first area here is our main storage area with a whole bunch of double chests and then finally at the very front of the ship here we have our smelting area, we have our main crafting blocks and our brewing blocks as well. Next up we have this underground house design. So on the exterior we have these three separated little squares here and this just makes for a very nice and unique looking design. We also have like a whole bunch of a azaleas around them as well and then we also have crops in front of all of those as well just for some extra little uh, greenery and so we can use this central trapdoor right here to head down the ladder and inside the actual base so firstly heading off to the left side we have our smelting crafting and our storage area then to the main like a big square of the base we have our bunk bed little uh, sleeping area we've just got like a couple of decorational little blocks around here as well pretty much uh, yeah in this entire area and then on the right wing of the base here we have our brewing area enchanting area and also our nether wart farm as well. Next up we have this medieval fortress style base. This base is pretty much entirely contained by this nice little wall design here with some deep slate, azaleas and some stone
stone as well. Heading on inside, off to the left here, we have our main smelting and crafting area. Then behind this area, we have our main like uh, animal pens and we also have a sugarcane farm over here as well. Then the back half of this base here, we have obviously this giant tower and then we also have a nice little platform over here. And we have this door as well that leads uh, underneath the base. I'll showcase that in just a second. But underneath this platform here is where our actual crafting area is. We also have our main storage area under here and also a, a little bit of a brewing area too. Heading to the left of the staircase here through this secret little door, we have our enchanting area and also a little bit of extra storage. And we also have the ladder up here into our main little tower, which we'll just take the doorway up here instead. But yeah, so heading up the stairs here, we have two little roofed crop fields over here. Then we can head inside of our tower here into like the actual base area. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the stuff on this floor. I don't know if I ever added anything into this, okay? What the hell? But uh, yeah, on the second floor here, we have our bedroom area. And then finally, all the way up at the roof here, we just have a nice little flag. Next up, we have this farmhouse style base that's situated on this ginormous crop field. So obviously you don't have to build this base in a crop field. Uh, but yeah, so taking a look at the actual base design, as you can see, it's in like kind of like a barn shaped kind of layout. And it definitely looks really unique and interesting. I think I've said that about like half of the bases I've showcased. Oh my God, man. So on the first floor here, we have our main storage wall, followed by our crafting area, smelting area, and then we have a nice little decoration here as well. We can head out this door as well to a little bit of a sugarcane farm and then heading up the ladder we have our bedroom area as well. Next up we have another starter base. This time this one is situated inside of a flower forest. So out the front here we've added in some nice little flower fields to kind of like uh, reflect the biome that it's supposed to be in. And we also have this very interesting and unique like uh, facade of the base here or like the, the front entrance I guess. Heading on inside as you can see we obviously don't have much base here because this one is meant to be a starter base like I mentioned previously. But off to the left here, we have our bedroom area with a whole bunch of barrels. We've got barrels that line pretty much all of the top area of this base as well. Off to the middle, we have our storage area and our crafting area. And then finally on the right side here, we have our furnace wall as well. Next up, we have this lakeside base. So as you can see, this base would definitely give you a very nice view from the inside here. So we've pretty much just like hollowed out the side of like this little miniature mountain cliff hill thing. If I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah. So we hollowed it out and we made this base nice and symmetrical as well. And we kind of just like customize the landscape to conform to the shape of the base. So on the outside here, we also have a nice little dock here. Just, um, I don't know, it's just like a nice little extra decoration to add. We have a nice modular base layout, similar to how I've done for all of my underground bases. So on the left side here, we have our crop farm, followed by our uh, main storage wall. We've also got our smelting wall, our enchanting area to the right of that. And then we also have our bedroom area. Next up is our crafting area another storage wall, and then finally we also have another crop farm on the right side with some carrots in it this time. Next up we have a Spanish villa style base. And as you can see this one is situated on like a lone island. We also have a nice little dock here that you can use to arrive at your base. You can also take this pathway as well up to the base. And I will just say that this build was created with extra as well as the following four builds. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd credit him because um, yeah, he helped a lot. So taking a quick look at the exterior, as you can see we have a nice little fountain design. We have a whole bunch of greenery as well and a very interesting interesting block palette. Um, don't mind this. Um, that's supposed to um, be this. Don't worry. Yeah, we have a very interesting block palette. As you can see, it's very different from your standard style of base because, um, yeah, we're in like a Spanish villa kind of theme, I guess. Yeah, also, we don't talk about the back of uh, the build, okay? So this pathway leads up to a nice little sign here. This is like uh, the theoretical name of the estate. Up above here, we have a nice little balcony. And then off to the right here, we have a little bit of like an indoor greenhouse here with a whole bunch of pot plants. And now off to the left side, we can head through the door of the base and in to the first floor. And yeah, so on the first floor here, we have like a nice little kitchen area with a whole bunch of furnaces. Over here at the back of the base, we have the staircase that can take us up to the second floor. Then we also have this nice little catwalk here that leads over to our bedroom. As you can see, very decorated with a whole bunch of paintings, leaves. And we can also take this door out to the balcony as well. And I thought I'd just showcase this base as well. This is our first iteration of Spanish Villa base, which we created probably like two years ago at this point. Next up, we have the Lush Cave base. And as you can see, this one is, um, yeah, I mean, like the name suggests, it's inside of a lush cave, completely isolated from the outside world. And for this one, we have two pathways here that lead up to our like weird like zigzag shaped base. Uh, it's very interesting and unique looking. So heading on through the front door here, on the first floor here, we have a giant carrot farm. And then off to the right side, we have another indoor greenhouse kind of thing, similar to the uh, Spanish villa base that I just showcased. We also have this nice little spiral staircase here that takes us up to the second floor, where over here we have our storage, crafting, furnaces. We've got our bedroom over here, followed by our brewing area, enchanting area and whatever the hell this area is with a villager guy in here. 
Next up, we have a base that's inside the bottom of a heavily decorated ravine. It's quite the mouthful of a base title. And so yeah, as you can see on this side here, we have a nice little river that leads down and kind of trickles throughout the entire base, which really just ties it all together. We've even got little bridges over these, even though they're not really needed, uh, obviously just purely aesthetic. And yeah, so over here we have our primary kind of crop farm. It's not very big, I know, but you could easily expand this into something larger if you needed to. Right behind it here, we have our storage wall, followed by our mine entrance over here, complete with its own little railway system as well to easily get you uh, to and fro of your uh, mine. Also, I don't know what this mine card's doing. It's just kind of going back and forth. <laughs> then over to the left here, we have our main little base area with our bed, of course. Off to the left here, we have our crafting area and then also our smelting area as well over here. And then finally, all the way at the end of the base here, we have our enchanting area. All right, and so that pretty much does it for all of the bases that I wanted to showcase. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.